It's always really inspiring to come to the Young Scientists Exhibition, the BT Young Scientists Exhibition this year, I think looks to me to be one of the best, if not the best ever, in terms of the sheer range of projects there are here, the ingenuity, the enthusiasm, really the excellence of the work that students have put into these projects is just striking once you come in the door. So it's just fantastic to be here. I wish I did uh, pay a little bit more attention to science when I was a, a student, but I was a little bit more tending towards the opposite direction of the humanities and wasn't very scientific but this is really inspirational and I just congratulate everybody involved. I think it's fantastic to see people who are thinking about the future, I suppose not just for themselves in terms of their own uh, future careers and employability but also what makes the country better and what makes services better, what makes um, leisure better, what makes uh, the environment better, what makes all of the things that are important for modern life, what improves on that and what can improve on it and you can just see the, as I was saying, sheer ingenuity of so many people applying their minds to really practical questions and dilemmas that we have. So it's a terrific exhibition, it's a terrific combination of projects and they're just fantastic people here. On this 50th anniversary year, I think we've seen in re the reports just in recent days in the lead up to today or to this week, the sheer number of people who have participated over the years, people who have succeeded, who've won the competition. We've seen the kind of career paths that they've taken uh, reach the top of their chosen field, scientists, engineers, people right across the board. So I think people here today can see the inspiration that you can get inspiration from people who succeeded in the past and who can give inspiration to us and to people who are coming in the future. So all in all, I think it's just a great success.